Hi there. Welcome to the annual general meeting of the Friends of the Saskatoon Afforestation Areas 2023-2024. The Afforestation Areas are situated in the West Swale Yorath Island Glacial Spillway, a sacred site in Treaty 6 territory and homeland of the Métis. Those who entered into Treaty 6 are the Nahiawak Cree, Nakawe Sato, and Yankton and Yankatone. Nakota people. May our relationships with the land, standing peoples, forests, and waters teach us to honor and respect the past and invite us to move forward in harmony. May we all come together as friends to find inspiration and guidance from histories, languages, and cultures which broaden our understanding and community collaboration for the present and future. Welcome our guest speaker, Bob Wong White. He goes to Green and Agriculture from U of S and his master's from uh, York University of uh, Environmental Studies. And he's a board member of the Friends of uh, Sustainable Forestation areas. Well, thank you very much for inviting us to present to you today. I'm going to talk mostly about Richard St. Bar Baker and, and a forestation area that's named after him. Saskatoon created a 26 acre site of the CNR railway yards. I'm going to talk sort of more about my personal connection to him to kind of get a sense of his qualities, but also cover a little bit about his life. He said he'd be here for World Environment Day on June 5th, 1982, and he asked the blind community in Saskatoon to arrange a tree planting at the university. So I came to Saskatoon a couple of days before. He was on a flight. On the morning of June 5th, it was raining. We thought it was too much rain for a tree planting because his condition. He was in a wheelchair, but he wanted to go ahead. So we backed him up in his wheelchair and brought him to the site for one o'clock on World Environment Day. The university supplied a big tree in a, in a tree spade and a bunch of, bunch of children uh, gathered around the tree and adults and he guided us in a motto that he had developed for an organization that he had been part of called Children of the Green Earth and it goes like this from our hearts with our hands for the earth all the world together he got up from his wheelchair and led that and that motto kind of summarizes his life his attitude his philosophy and he, uh, we took him back sun had, sun had come out for this event when we were crossing the university bridge uh, he said, if I die in Saskatoon, I want to be buried along the banks of Saskatchewan River under a tall tree. And in fact, he died four days later and is buried in Woodlawn Cemetery under a tall tree. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see by the subline of his life, that's one of the biggest things in life. He inspired so many young people to become involved in environmental conservation. The area was neglected for 20 years, basically, until Julia discovered it and saw all the garbage and just initiated community action and kind of spurred the city into taking it seriously and now the city has funded a, a proper environmental assessment of the area and a plan for management. By the way, I, I know George General, he was a member of our gun club. He won the, I think it was 1952 Olympics in Helsinki, uh, Finland, as a trap shooter, 16 or 17 year old trap shooter. Thank <laughs> you.